There may have been another huge concession from the Obama administration to Iran in order to get a group of Americans released from Iranian custody. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen has that story tonight from the White House. On the same day in January that the U.S. stealthily paid Iran $400 million in hard foreign currency to settle a dispute over frozen assets, and the Islamic regime set free five American hostages, a coincidence of timing many have argued amounted to the payment of ransom, still another deal was being finalized. The Wall Street Journal reports the State Department's Brett McGurk signed an agreement that day allowing the United Nations to lift sanctions eight years ahead of schedule against Bank SEPA, Iran's oldest and third richest bank, and previously described by the U.S. Treasury Department as the financial linchpin of Iran's ballistic missile program. They were no longer carrying out actions that we believed uh, were linked to or linked them to uh, the ballistic missile program. We always maintain the, the uh, ability uh, to reimpose uh, U.S. sanctions uh, on Bank SEPA or any other entity in Iran if we then uh, uh, consider their behavior as is, uh, is, uh, is uh, or merits. Top administration officials had previously promised Congress there would be no weakening of the UN financial restrictions. The sanctions on their arms trade, the sanctions on their acquisition of ballistic missile technology remain in place for many years to come under the UN. More recently, the administration has assured Congress Washington has Iran's missile program well in hand. We believe that uh, we have both multilaterally and unilaterally the tools necessary to attack that missile program. But by all accounts, Iran has ramped up the program since the nuclear deal was announced in July 2015, including this launch of a Cotter medium-range missile. We are already seeing the consequences of this impact. We've already seen 10 separate testing of intercontinental ballistic missiles. Some of these missiles have on the side of them the words in Farsi and in Hebrew, death to Israel. The lead from behind strategy is now paying the kind of dividends many of us warned of. And that is that the United States is no longer shaping events, whether it's in the Middle East with Iran and Syria, whether it's in Asia, whether it's in Europe with Russia. Aides to the president said they make no excuses for what they called their very considered determination to delist Bank SEPA, even as they acknowledge they continue to have concerns about Iran's ballistic missile program. Brett.